person sees all. Hi everyone, a bunch of UFOs brought me to a biological technology lab. But first, I have things that happen to this channel. The ones that get hacked, I mean, look at that. That's a gap. Just to give you an idea, when I posted that incredible video of UFOs leaving the surface, do you believe that between three and four, between four and five, between five and six, for three hours, there were no views anywhere on my channel? And even at the end here for another hour from in my most busy time, that's how they block the traffic coming to the channel. You can see on the bottom, it was up all the way up and then completely blocked. I want to thank Yan from Garpan. We haven't taken the time uh, to show some of my research and it, it's a big thank you I, I want to give to him because it's so hard to get the truth out like he's trying to do and like all these ufologists are trying to do. But I finally got a chance to be with some of these amazing scientists and doctors and professionals. And the Pentagon now knows, as of last year, maybe even before, my research. So it's still pretty early. Um, we're about uh, 8, 7.45. I'm going to take like two minutes to drive about uh, 1.5 kilometers. Where were we seeing those lights? I'm going to be able to tell you guys... Uh, like exactly where the lights were within uh, several hundreds of feet, obviously, maybe less than a thousand feet, so we can get an idea. So I'm going to head over in the car, so come along with me. Well, such a weird story. So here's the junction. I call it a junction. It's a hydro-Quebec. In towns, they have the setups, massive power lines bringing lights and everything out to the towns and things running underground. We can see a guy there inside of the enclosure going into his truck he's putting up an orange a band uh like like when there's a murder <laughs> around the area because obviously he's going to work on it i recorded outside and spoke but it was so windy that you couldn't hear me speaking obviously i didn't have a cover on the microphone so i'm across the street which i'm going to show you on uh, google earth and google maps further out the area without naming any names i want you to see an incredible fine ding so something happened after i saw those lights this is the area my friends without a doubt a couple of hundreds of feet from where those ufos were coming up off of the surface so yes they were uh, right beside this hydro enclosure that we can see there absolutely 100,000 percent if not they would have been about in the vicinity you can see that orange flailing thing there that they put around something that they're repairing um, one truck there and two at the back which you never see trucks there unless there's repairs to do or some um, initial um, you know things that employees do when they go there once every two or three months or once a month but I went to take a picture and I couldn't. So here's where it gets interesting. The UFOs brought me over here for some reason to find something. Here's an overhead view. There's a big massive tower at the end of the enclosure you just saw. And I just want to show you there's only fields, right? Fields and one farm leading out. You're going to see there crossing over a side road that goes to the States. But you know that that's just a massive power line. So the UFOs could also have come out of somewhere in that forest. And that forest is definitely a forest I'm going to have to invest time in um, looking, like walking down that line that, that I just showed you. Here's where it gets interesting. Listen and follow, guys. There's the fire station. There's the enclosure of hydro where I just showed you. So we're further away down the road, not very far. Let's turn around behind me and look across the street. So now facing the other way, you see they're doing some construction there. Um, and this was way back, obviously, when Google took the images. There's going to be a cornfield there in the future that I'm going to show you in yesterday's uh, filming that I did. There's a 5G tower, right? But before leading up to the 5G tower, um, here in town, they were we were told that they were going to build a marijuana depot. And there was no name or label in this field here. But at one point, which I just saw yesterday, they added an address and a name. Biotechnology company let's leave it at that or lab whatever there's the 5g tower that you can see on the right of the image way back in the distance right i'm going to show you a bit to the left uh, eventually there will be a cornfield here we're going to see it today they're going to build something there 
the building of biotechnology lab or whatever that's there. It's hush hush. We were also told it was a marijuana depot. And it just so happens yesterday, I found that out by rooting around on Google Earth and Google Maps. But let me show you something. Let's look at the 5G tower overhead. But there's Google Earth, and then we'll go to Google Maps, and you're going to see there's a difference. Here we can see very clearly. I can see it. There's a tower, like on the moon. There's a tower. Ejecta? No. And there's a shadow, right? You can see it creates an L. But on Google Maps, sometimes when you go to look at that area, where, by the way, there's a biotechnology lab there now, <laughs> there's only a shadow. They took the tower off. And there's some black line there that either replaces the tower, but the tower should be placed the same way I just showed you here, like we see here. That's the angle of the tower. Why would it ever change several times on Google Images? So I thought that was very odd that they were hiding that area. So turns out it is um, biotechnology. They're working on uh, living organisms and cells and whatnot, molecular. It, it, it's serious. So there's the 5G tower. You see everything, the 5G, the 4G, whatever, all the differences of the connections and everything. But look where it's connected to and look what's there now. <laughs> Don't forget, I was told, the whole town was told and many other towns that it was a marijuana depot shipping out. And now I notice there's cars there. I could only imagine, I know, there must be some American license plates there i'm not going to show them that's for sure not going to linger too much on the bio lab but it's connected close to a junction of hydro quebec and that right in front of you where you're looking at in the trees where the ufos would have lifted up right there and if i was to venture there there are the mountains in the united states of america so they're literally landing in no man's land or this supposed biolab is actually testing anti-gravity somehow. Is there a hole where they're coming up out of the ground to do certain tests? Like, listen, you, some can find it exaggerated or not, but I filmed over nine UFOs yesterday lifting up off of the surface in hundreds of feet from this area. There's nothing else around it. There are only trees and, of course, scattered out houses until we go maybe five, 10 minutes down the road and there's nothing else. So that's biotechnology. You can see the dock doors up there on top. You can see the chimney on top. We can see uh, the cars there. I've counted about 12 cars yesterday. By the way, we see three cars the same. It could be governmental cars. It could be people from the States coming to this side. So look at that. You saw the field. This is what was, ri what was rising over the field. You just saw an explosion there, by the way, because UFOs cause explosions. Unidentified flying objects or unidentified aerial phenomena. If you don't know what they are, they're unidentified flying objects because that is flying. And that's the exact area where I got these lights, the UFO site, between 9 and 10 at night, very early, Always usually the time that I get these UFO lights. But you see the manipulation they did on the surface on Google Maps to hide that area? 15 kilometers from the border, okay? That's the same thing they did back in the days, paperclip with um, a doctor crossing over at Doria, 15, 20 kilometers away from the States, had tunnels there. So who says the Americans don't have tunnels entering Canada and that they're doing biotechnology lab um, experimentation and whatnot, thus hiding themselves from their own country. And now we go back to last summer, 2021. There's a helicopter going over my house, but stopped and hovered, then descended down to the ground exactly where that bloody 5G tower was. And when it descended, well, I took off in my car to go and see what the hell was, was going on. And don't forget this moment, I knew that it was a marijuana depot that they had just built. Nobody thought anything of it. Notice how the building is bloody white and it blends with the back white sky. It's along a track at the same time and the fire department just across the street from it, Hydro-Quebec conjunction or junction there, massive connections 
and the building there it is like literally landing so that's landing right beside the 5g tower so when i posted the video i said well guys let's go see why it's landing near the 5g tower and don't forget this yes was last year at uh, when they were doing the connections of the 5g's and everyone was talking about it david ike was talking about there was a lot of hype about the 5g towers so i made a video and i went and saw this of course military helicopter that went and landed in the not in the vicinity right in front of the tower and uh, touched uh, ground i wasn't able to get it quick enough it lifted up it wasn't there for long so here's me taking off in the car to um go film the 5g tower and just take a look and i'll get back to you in a couple of seconds so let's take a quick look at the 5g tower really close up and zoomed up for those that understand the 5g and the towers and then something even more interesting I know of several ex several experimental labs and I'm not going to mention where they are, but I, we are going to talk about them. And at the same time, I know for a fact that a lot of those areas hide the addresses on Google Maps and Google Earth and you can't see them. This area uh, near Montreal in the outskirts builds radio telescopes and is building and working on an array system. Have you heard of NASA's gigantic array system that they want to do? And we're talking about HARP, CERN. These radio telescopes are all lining themselves up and they're beaming microwaves up into the ionosphere. See, now look at the glitches here up in the air. Boy, I was, I'm so confused. I said it has to be uh, a glare and I saw it wrong so I'm not even going to mention what looks like chemtrails but it's nothing it's just a glare up in the corner so you can never mind that and take a look at this incredible radio telescope we're also uh, going to go into the yard I was going for uh, an application actually back then not that long ago a couple of years ago so this is where they f uh, build radio telescopes by the way for NASA and other people they build parts for NASA in space. Parts that they need to use in space, we build them right there. It's minutes from my home, okay? This is scary stuff, because this is all around me. There's also a monkey lab I'm not gonna talk about. There's a lot of other things around that I even know people working in there, and that's just very hush-hush, but you could be sure that there's a lot of Americans working here in Canada on these projects, obviously. They're flying down every day or they're, they're working here and, and staying here for months at a time. So I got a couple of views. Because, I mean, a radio telescope's cool. Nobody ever gets to see a radio telescope in reality unless you're lucky and you live near one. So this is a big enough one that they're building. And we can see here it's not pointing to the same angle. It's pointing to another direction this time. Obviously, you're not supposed to be close to a radio telescope if it's working. It does look like it's working, but obviously they're doing tests and hopefully they're not beaming up into space. Or, But, you know, I'm telling you, this planet is a base. For those that don't realize it, we got companies and family lives and we got weekends and we got vacations. But in reality, we're just floating around here. We're not part of the big system, right? We're just a little part of the system. These radio telescopes can be craters on the moon. We wonder what the center of the, of the things are in the bloody craters on the moon. And I said this years ago, that can sit right on the ground. Like, you know, China did it. Come on. China has it lying on the ground, the radio telescope, guys. It looks like a saucer. It has all the 
um, enclosures are hidden around it. They're underneath the radio telescope. So they could be in the moon, underneath the craters, using radio telescopes and have a, a setup over top of it, mountains hiding all the outskirts of it and just keeping the center with that piece that you see right there, just like on the moon. I did a video at one point, did the comparison of that. So now I'm really taking a chance and I'm just standing beside a radio telescope now underneath it saying, hey, I'll pull into the parking lot and then go right up to it and take a picture of it. If they come out, I'll say, oh, I just thought it was so beautiful. What is it? You know, play dumb. But people tell me, Bruce, the moon's desolate. Like we'd have to see some, you know, things roaming around. Well, how about how about this UFO and smoke trail? So is that an object that's on fire? Is it burning or are they applying chemicals in the atmosphere of the moon? Are they hiding the surface, obscuring the surface so that we can't see the surface? These are all things that are, um, are proof that there definitely is someone up there. I believe the Pentagon's hiding the fact that they know someone's up there. If that's an adversarial country, well, the world definitely has to know. And if it's aliens, well, we should know too. The fact that they're hiding it, I promise you one thing. The only reason why they're hiding all of this on the moon is because they're doing something sinister. If not, they talk about it. Let's finish off with a little, a little blast. Thanks for watching, everyone. Possibly a C-138 circling a biological lab. And thanks for listening. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions, and thanks for watching the videos. Aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens about to on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter, cause disclosure's coming soon. Just coming soon.